Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. The Z-Man Goat family has been attracting some brutal surface strikes and also catching a stack of different species subsurface in the three inch baby goat, the 3.75 inch goat and the 4.25 inch billy goat. Today on our rig and fish video, we're talking about how to rig and fish the largest of the goat family, the 4.25 inch billy goat. All right, so the goat family of plastics, as we've spoken about before, have got that squashed grub body and those two kicking feet on the back there. So basically, it allows us to swim this on the surface, much like a frog, but with a more subtle and more compact presentation. Otherwise, we can fish at subsurface, representing you know a crab or a bait fish, turn it on its side, rig it like a minnow. So there's a stack of different ways you can rig the goat, and a lot of anglers are calling this the most versatile presentation in their kit. So out of the packet, remember we need to get those two feet and pop them apart, and that way we're gonna get maximum action out of those two kicking feet. That squashed grub's body gives us a profile that holds a jig head well when a fish eats it, and it also adds bulk to the plastic without adding girth to the plastic in terms of depth. So we can get good hook clearance, but we've also got plenty of weight in that plastic that we can fish it unweighted on a, a weedless hook, or we can add weight as required to get us down to the depth that we're looking at. So this is the 4.25 inch, Billy Goat, the biggest of the family, available in some cool colors. So, you know, we've got our pearl, so we've got our light color. We've got some darker colors like watermelon red and hot craw. There's hot snakes in there, which is a UV color, and watermelon red's also UV. So we've got light colors, dark colors, UV colors that we need to mix it up depending on the conditions we're fishing and the species we're targeting. Let's have a look at jig heads that we can rig this on. So we'll kick off first with our Headlocks HD. So the TT Headlocks HD, probably the most popular jig head out there for rigging standard on a J-hook style jig head. This plastic is quite a large plastic, but I thought let's have a good look at what jig heads it will carry and see how far we can go up and down through the scale of things. So I've put it on a 3.0 here. At a push, I think you could fish it on a 3.0 if you really wanted a big profile plastic with a smaller jig head. But that 3.0, I think, is probably better left for the 3.75 inch goat and even the baby goat, you can put a 3.0 in. So I'd probably step up from the 3.0 to the 4.0. The 4.0 looks pretty nice in that plastic. You've got good hook clearance on that 4.0. And that's a nice solid hook that suits this size of plastic. So whether you're chasing Mulloway or Snapper or Barra or Jacks or whatever it might be, that 4.0 is a good solid heavy wire hook to stop those fish, built on a mustard, yeah, brutally strong black nickel chemically sharpened hook. 5.0 looks absolutely sweet. So for those people chasing larger snapper, mulloway, big flatties, you know, reef species, uh, Murray cod, barra, everything, that 5.0 fits in there beautiful, as does a 6.0. So 5.0 and 6.0 are brilliant in that 4.25 inch billy goat. So that's gonna allow us to catch some big fish with those 5.0s and 6.0s in there. Get those paddle feet kicking on the back of that billy goat, boof, get those fish fired up. I wanted to see how it would go on some bigger jig heads as well. So that's on a 7.0. So on a 7.0, you can see that still rides pretty well on a 7.0. So our 3.75 inch billy goat, our 3.75 inch goat absolutely maxed out at a 6.0. So I've got a 7.0 in there and I've also put an 8.0 in there at a push. So in terms of body length, you can fit an 8.0 jig head in there, which allows you to stop some absolute beasts offshore, uh, Murray Cod as well, and that sort of thing, if you do want to run an 8.0, and the feet sit clear of that 8.0 hook. So you're still going to get the feet action and that sort of thing. You're not going to get so much body action out of that, but those feet are still going to kick on an 8.0 if you do need to drop that big hook size down to whatever you're trying to catch. So, you know, if you were offshore and you had some billy goats in your kit, if you needed to, you could put them on an 8.0 and get down there. But on a 7.0, you can see that rides pretty well on a 7.0. So that's a big hook. So again, Mulloway, Snapper, Murray Cod, Barramundi, that sort of thing. And it looks really cool. Just rigged sideways, as I've done in the past, minnow style on that 7.0. Because of the wider aspect of the body on its side, 
that 70 fits in there real nice so yeah it just allows you to see the size of the hooks that you can fit in that 4.25 inch billy goat so that's a big range of hooks i'd probably skip the 30 and i'd run 40 through to a 70 80 would a push but 70 is a big hook for stopping big fish so beautiful plenty of good options there on a standard j hook on that headlocks hd from there we step up to our revlock so again built on that same hook that heavy duty, duty mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook but the revlox has the addition of the blade underneath which creates flash and vibration adds another element to our presentation that we are throwing out there so again as we mentioned we've got our 50 fits on really nicely so our 50 the same as our headlocks hd rides beautiful on there for a barra for a snapper murray cod and then we've also got that 70 option in the revlocks which you know offshore you could drop that thing down and now you're going to have the blade spinning those couple of feet kicking a lot of action going down there without probably sinking as slow as some of the plastics with more action in it with the big paddle tails or curl tails and that sort of thing so you can still get it down there to where the fish are so that's our revlox option and again with the revlox available in the rounder colorado style blade or the pointier willow leaf willow style blade and again in silver or gold so as we've said several times but just in case you missed it the gold is often preferred for fresh water and tannin stained water and that sort of thing and the silver is often preferred for clear water and also for salt water use again that thinner narrower blade runs faster deeper and the rounder blade has more thump runs a bit shallower so that is on our revlox in a 5.0 and a 7.0 and then if you really want to mix it up make it look cool this is probably my favorite jig at the moment in a standard j hook that's the big eyes tt lewis big eyes has that big eye in there for added attraction really get the fish somewhere to zone in on and hit that jig head cool thing with that as well is there's glow eye options in there and i really think that glow eye makes a difference so for me, I'll quite often fish that black head with the glow eye. When I get into sort of over two meters down, three meters plus of water, I really like that glow eye and it's caught me a lot of mulloway, a lot of jewfish with that glow eye. So in terms of hook sizes, again, we've got our 5.0 and our 7.0 and we've got a bunch of different head colors available. So, you know, you might go for that black natural head or the silver and black head, or you might want to change things up totally and go with a pink head or a chartreuse head just to add some bling, add some UV to that, make it really pop. And that's on a 5.0 there and on a 7.0. So you can see that 7.0 fits in there quite nicely on that 4.25 inch billy goat. And I really wanted to rig this guy because that is going to slay i reckon i really would love to see what beast you guys can stop on that thing there so that's a 70 big eyes rigged with a 4.25 inch billy goat sideways so minnow style that is a beast i reckon that's going to get slayed mulloway barra murray cod all sorts of things are going to eat that that plastic there so that's some j hook options our 4.0 to 7.0, maybe squeeze an 8.0 in in a headlocks HD, and then that 5.0 and 7.0 revlocks, 5.0 and 7.0, and the big eyes transfers across well to there also. Now, weedless, which I know a lot of you guys are going to rig this one weedless because it is an incredible top water bait. It's kind of like a frog on the top, but has a different sort of sound and it's a more compact profile. So a lot of fish hit it nice and clean, jacks and that sort of thing, really, really clean it up. So in terms of hook options, jig head options and hook sizes and that sort of thing, we've got our chin locks. So the TT chin locks is unweighted. So it's just got that chin lock keeper and that chin lock is designed to lock the nose of the soft plastic in. So that 10 times tough, super soft and flexible Z-Man plastic, you can really lock the nose in. So when a fish hits it, hits it, hits it, the plastic stays where it needs to be until you do get that hook set. So a 4.0, squeeze is on a 4.0, I would fish that on a 4.0 if I needed to, uh, you know, if I, if I needed a plucky to suit a jack or something like that, uh, didn't want too big a hook, you can fit a 4.0 chin locks in there, gives you plenty of weight for casting because of the bulk of this plastic, and it, it will still clear the hook okay on a 4.0, so 4.0 in a chin locks, no worries, 6.0 is absolutely perfect, so the 6.0 was the max we could fit into the 3.75 inch goat, 
The 6.0 rides beautifully in a 4.25 inch billy goat. Plenty of room for clearance there. And that really brings in the barra, the Murray cod, you know, those larger predatory species on that 6.0 hook. Again, unweighted so we can buzz it nice and high, keep it up on the surface and, and moving along. Cool thing also, the 4.25 inch billy goat will carry an 8.0. So that'll ride okay on an 8.0 as well. We've got the feet out the back there kicking. That really comes into play for, you know, big Murray cod, big barra, impoundment barra, that sort of thing. When you're chasing real big fish, that 8.0 is going to still ride. Rides right at the back there, but the feet can still kick behind there and that sort of thing. So that's going to be an absolute ripper on an 8.0. So you couldn't fit the 3.75 on an 8.0, but the 4.25 inch will go on an 8.0 if you do need that big weedless hook. Stepping from there, we've got our belly weighted option. So that's our Chinlocks SWS Stagless Weight System with the belly, belly weight on there. So we've still got our locking system on the front there to hold our plastic in place, but we've got that belly weight as well, which gives us additional weight for casting. And it can also help to pull the plastic down at the back and really get those feet working if you want to work it slower with the rod tip up and get it bubbling, get those feet really bubbling across the top. But that's our Chinlocks SWS, TT Chinlocks SWS. Could sneak it in a 4.0, but because we've got that belly weight, it impacts the clearance of the plastic when the fish strikes. So if I was going to run a 4.0 SWS, I would probably stick to the 3.75 inch goat. If I'm running the 4.25 inch billy goat because I want the larger size, then I would step up to a 6.0 and it rides beautiful on a 6.0, plenty of hook clearance on a 6.0 so that we can get that hook into the fish. And again, with that extra weight, great in the wind, if we're throwing and fishing over the top of structure and weed beds and those sorts of things, and we can buzz that for those impoundment barrel, we can buzz it for Murray Cod and all those sorts of things. And then again, we've got that 8.0 option as well, which is really handy if we are chasing big fish. The cool thing with that 8.0, you know, the, the, we're, when we're chasing barra and Murray Cod and that sort of thing, a lot of the thing with a weedless hook, when we step up in size to that 8.0, we want to get that maximum hook clearance as quick as we can. Fishes inhale it, out it goes, boom, and we get them in the corner of the jaw, often hook them in the corner of the jaw. So that bigger 8.0 hook is really good for getting that solid hook set around the corner of the jaw, which then makes it harder for them to throw the hook during the fight. Okay, from our Chinlocks SWS, we then step up to our Snake Locks option. So our Snake Locks option has the removable head weight, so we've got our chin lock style of hook and we clip it on to our head weight and that's our snake locks ready to go. So that allows us to fish this plastic subsurface into snags and structure. So that's going to look pretty cool going down into structure with those two legs working and then we can hop it and twitch it around. It's going to be looking almost crabby down there with its two legs moving around like crab claws and it's going to draw the strike from a heap of different species. So that's rigged on a 4.0 and again without the belly weight on there we can clear that hook quite easily. So 4.0 is about as small as I would go in that snake locks. We've got a 5.0 option in the snake locks which rigs nicely. So I'd probably probably go for 5.0 or 6.0 most of the time. That 6.0 is a beautiful hook in there and that's going to pin those larger species and handle those big fights with those big fish. And then again we've got that option of the 8.0 in that snake locks. And again, that ability on there, we've got our hook swinging separately, so we're gonna have lots of action. This plastic is naturally buoyant, so it's gonna be up floating around, attracting the fish and triggering strikes, and we can clip that off and on if we need to. If we wanna change weights or change hook sizes, that sort of thing we can with that snake lock. So also, if you're into your weedless fishing and you wanna give it a go, check out the TT Weedless rig value pack as well. That's got an assortment of weedless jig heads in there to get you started as well, so it's a really good option. Then, of course, if we can run in our snake locks, we can run in the snake eyes, which is the newer addition to the range, and that's got that taken from the big eyes. We've got that large eye as a strike trigger to attract the fish, draw strikes on that articulated head. So we've got the maximum movement there. We've got that ability for the plastic to stand up with the buoyancy. And again, we can alter head colors, hook sizes, and head weights as required. We can mix and match them. So, you know, that allows us to go with a dark plastic with a dark head, or we can run that, you know, chartreuse head if we want a bit more UV pop, a bit more fluoro look to what we're doing to attract their attention. There's a nice natural gold colored head on that one there. 
and again a stack of head weights available to suit the depths we're fishing in or how slow we want that plastic sinking down into the snag and again we've got that option of a 4-0 because we don't have the belly weight on there so our hook can clear so 4-0 is about as small as I would go again most likely if I'm fishing a 4-0 I'm probably going to be running a 3.75 inch goat but you can sneak that 4.25 inch billy goat on there 5-0 magic beautiful sits really nice fits well on there it's cool the body shape of this plastic as well when you rig it weedless i've found it's just been one of the best weedless plastics i've used because when you rig it weedless the body shape the hook point sits so firmly on the back it's it's just rides perfectly hardly picks up any junk when you're fishing and then a 6.0 in that snake eyes is an option as well and that looks beautiful and fits perfectly on there on that 6.0 in the snake eyes with that head color option and those big strike trigger eyes so that's our 4.25 inch billy goat make sure you check it out especially if you're going to go and have a crack at barra murray cod you know those larger predatory species i reckon it's going to slay mull away big flatties all those sorts of things so make sure you check out 4.25 inch billy goat at tackletactics.com.au uh, hopefully we get some nice video of it getting eaten buffing off the top and that sort of thing soon in terms of jig heads remember on our j hook we're running sort of between that 4.0 and 7.0 with an 8.0 in there if we need to, which gives us the Headlocks HD option. We've got our Revlocks 5.0 and 7.0, our Big Eyes 5.0 and 7.0, and then weedless rigging. We're going to be running 4.0, 5.0, 6.0, 8.0. to push sits beautiful on a 5.0 and 6.0 and can hold an 8.0 if we need it to for targeting those big barra Murray Cod and that sort of thing and getting them out of cover. Sent them up. I always sent up my plastics with a bit of Procure Super Gel. These guys, depending if you're imi imitating a minnow sideways rigged, you might want to put, you know, sardine pilchard or mullet, that sort of thing. If you're rigging it flat like that, you might want to put a uh, blue crab or an inshore, inshore salt water or something like that on it. But the main thing is a bit of scent on there is excellent because it masks any foreign odors on your hands, fuel, sunscreen, bug spray, those sorts of things. So it helps to mask that and it also attracts fish to your lure and triggers strikes makes it look that look natural smell natural get those bites so there you go the billy goat check out the goat family tackletactics.com.au get out there get stuck into a few fish cheers